Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. The left-wing website Daily Kos ran a hit piece about me earlier this week. Here's one paragraph from it. Only slightly less bizarre are the conspiracy theories presented by Tony Heller, formerly known by his blogging pen name Steve Goddard. His pet conspiracy theory is that scientists alter temperature records to show more warming where there hasn't actually been any. So his shtick is to pull the raw data, add his own trend lines, and claim there's no warming. Most intelligent people would consider that methodology to be science, but the daily cost calls it conspiracy theory. Reality is that scientists at NASA and NOAA alter the data quite openly. This is the NASA temperature graph for the United States from the year 1999. It showed that the warmest year in the United States was 1934 with a cooling trend through the 1990s. The second warmest year was 1998, which was 0 0.6 degrees Celsius cooler than 1934. And here is the current version of the same graph through the end of the 20th century. Now they show warming from the 1930s through the end of the 20th century with 1998 warmer than 1934. Now I'm going to flash back and forth a few times between the two different versions of the graph. 2019 warming, 1999 cooling. 2019 warming, 1999 cooling, 2019 warming. It is very easy to document that NASA has altered their data as these graphs come right from their website. Now we're going to look at data alterations from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Their historical data alterations are more difficult to document because they don't publicly archive their old temperature graphs. But fortunately, some individuals did screenshot their old temperature graphs at the time they were published. Anthony Watts archived this NOAA graph of Texas temperatures in the year 2012. It showed no warming in Texas since the year 1895. But NOAA's current graph for Texas shows lots of warming for that same time period. It's pretty obvious that NOAA has altered their temperature data since the year 2012. This article appeared in the San Antonio Express News also in the year 2012. Research shows Texas is not warming. The data for this study was taken from the same NOAA temperature data set. But again, the current version of Texas temperatures from NOAA through the year 2011 shows lots of warming. The data has definitely been altered. And here's another smoking gun from the New York Times from 1989. Front page of the New York Times, Thursday, January 26, 1989. U.S. data since 1895 failed to show warming trend. The study made by scientists at National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was published in the current issue of Geophysical Research Letters. And here's the current NOAA temperature graph for the United States through the year 1988. Now it shows lots of warming. Perhaps the Daily Kos thinks that the New York Times is in on what they call my conspiracy theory. Now let's look at the heat wave data from the 2017 National Climate Assessment published by the U.S. government. It shows that summers in the United States were much hotter during the 1930s and that for the past 60 years, summers in the United States have been relatively cool. Perhaps the Daily Kost thinks that the scientists at the National Climate Assessment are also in on what they call my conspiracy theory. The United States used to be much hotter, but the United States is only 2% of the planet's surface. Let's look now at why the United States data is so important. This is the NOAA map of the stations which they have daily temperature data for from the years 1891 through 1920. As you can see, the vast majority of the stations are in North America and specifically in the United States. They also have some stations from Western Europe and parts of Australia, but most of the Earth's surface, including Africa, South America, Russia, and much of Asia, they have very little daily temperature data for. This makes the U.S. temperature data critically important and specifically the alterations which NOAA has made to the U.S. temperature data. Thermometers measure temperatures one instant at a time. Without the daily temperature data, there's no way to verify that whatever temperature records they have are accurate. And here's another smoking gun of data alterations from the Santa Cruz Sentinel, Thursday, December 7, 1989. Debate over global warming heats up. 
Analysis of warming since 1881 shows most of the increase in global temperature happened before 1919, before the more recent sharp rise in the amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, said Tom Carl of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Climatic Data Center in Asheville, North Carolina. While global climate warmed overall since 1881, it actually cooled from 1921 to 1979, Carl said. Tom Carl was the longtime head of the National Climatic Data Center and retired shortly after President Trump took office. He said that according to NOAA data, Earth actually cooled from 1921 to 1979. Now let's look at the current NOAA temperature data for the years 1921 through 1979. This is their land and ocean data and it shows a strong warming trend. In this graph is their land-only temperature data, which also shows a strong warming trend. So there's no question that NOAA has altered their global temperature data. The Daily Cost calls science a bizarre conspiracy theory presented by Tony Heller. They won't talk to me and they won't give me a chance to respond because they aren't interested in hearing the truth. They're pushing a political agenda and they're not interested in facts. In part two of this series, I will show the data alterations which are being made to the U.S. temperature record, and in part three, I will attempt to dissect what they are doing to tamper with the data. Toto and Kyrie put the documentation and links for this data on their website at realclimatescience.com.